Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, or just Zelda Skyward Sword. Anyway, this is the first episode after I've changed a bunch of stuff, but I'll talk about that later. For now, let's just head on in the Chamber of Songs. I'm going to call it that until it tells me otherwise. Charge up the Skyward Strike. Let's do it. This game's art is amazing. Now that statue is kind of creepy. I mean, it's cool, but it's a little bit creepy. Those mouths always creep me out a little bit. Master Link, I have important information, and this music is beautiful. Never noticed that before. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn, the re earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. Gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. <laughs> I can't pronounce that very well. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to purifying to the to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you a, me a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Farren Woods. Love this music. That song is, is called Ferrar's, Ferrar's Courage. Its rousing me melody will guide you. You learned Ferrar's court Courage. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Ferrar's courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you, f you set out for Farron Woods as soon as you are ready. And we'll do that next episode. No, this, uh, this episode isn't ending. Seriously, we'll, pr we'll probably get to that next episode. Because we have stuff to do here. A lot of stuff. Possibly enough to fill this episode and the next. I'm not sure about that. But possibly. We're, we'll just kind of go where... Where the... Dice falls? I, I don't know what the term for that is. We'll just go where we will. First off... Let's go ahead and call our bird. And we're going to fly to... This island has nothing for us yet. I'm gonna fly to this island. I, I want to see if there, the thing there is available yet. It may not be, but oh, we, we we should check. And I forgot. Do these? Does this island have a name? I think it's just called Bug Island, I guess. So we want to drop off right here. And no, there's nothing for us. Okay, we tried. Let's go. We'll come back later because there is something very relevant and very important for us to do. Like it'll it'll make this the story much much easier. 
So our next location is actually going to be... Um... We go into Farron. Will something trigger? I don't think so. Um... We're gonna go... Like, around here. I'm not sure where. We're looking for that volcano island that we saw. Pardon me, I'm, I'm having fun. And... there, okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure we want to go to a volcano island. We could go to Farron and get the same thing, but I think we should go to Volcano. Actually, we're going to drop by Skyloft first and then run out. Okay. I'm unsure about how this episode's going to go because there, this is going to be another... This is going to be a, a, a legit side quest episode. Oh, wow, we have a lot of rupees. And we need to... You know, it's... How do I explain this? There's so many side quests, and I want to do them in the best order possible. And I'm not sure what the order for that is, so I, there may be some cuts this episode while I try to activate them. And these will be gratitude quests. Also, that sun looks weird. It looks sandy. Looks like a planet, almost, not like a star. Also, is the air thinner up here, or or do does the cloud barrier kind of act as if, you know, it's it's the ground? You know, so it pushes all the atmosphere up. I'd, I'd be that's interest that's an interesting question, I think. I'd like to know. And float down. First we're going to buy the shield. Then we're gonna go to Beatles. Because, remember, like, episode, uh, before we fought the Imprisoned, we went here and the, that shield wasn't there? Well, fighting the Imprisoned was kind of a checkpoint. So, now stuff is here that wasn't normally. Ah, that's a sacred shield. As you might surmise from its name, it can handle, uh, handle all variety of attacks. Fire? Not a sweat. Electricity? No painful zaps. Plus, it will automatically repair itself when it sustains damage. It's a little fragile, but that shouldn't be a problem for one as talented and, and agile as yourself. Wow, he called us talented and agile. Let's buy this. He's very confident in us. Wait, why, why can't you just send it to the item check? Oh, hey, this is the item check. I bet you're here just to check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyway, you need to grab something or drop something off. Yes, please! I. Okay, we're gonna drop off our shield. We're going to make a shield folder. Folder. Here. Here. We don't need anything else. Okay. I Thank you, Beatrice. I believe that's her name, right? No, it's Beatrice. Her father's... No, her, she's Beatrice. What's her father's name? Yeah... What's her father's name? Oh. Forgot his name. Forgot his name. Okay, shield. Sacred shield. Okay, yes, we know. You're... Related to the Happy Mask Salesman. You, you, he does look like that. Rupin does look like that. And I want to call him a she again. Lovely view of the back of his head. <laughs> the customer's always right. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Yes, I know. It is really that tiny of a, of a shield health gauge. But it restores health over time, so as long as you don't just take a hundred hits to the shield, you should be fine. Also, you, n you should never repair this shield, because it's just going to do it itself. Can we repair? No. Well, not repair, but upgrade. Can we do this? No. We need Hornet Larva. We will get that in Farron. And we'll also get a Dusk Relic, too. Here? We I want this, because this can be useful. Um... 
Man, we're just short one and one. Here? Oh, we're getting that too. This is pr probably one of the most useful things. This, that, and that are probably the best things. This is fine because I'm good with the shield. But, you know, the other stuff comes first, I'd say. Okay, we can leave and go to Beetles. Man, we're just burning time this episode. I don't want to do long episodes, but... Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're going to go see Beetle. Because we need stuff. Because we're going to get a lot of reward this episode. That's fun. Jump up, jump up, jump up. I'm trying to hurry, because I don't want you guys to be like, Oh, we got a shield, and that's the end of the episode. I want to make some progress. And, yes, I know that I normally do 25-minute... I, I want to do 25-minute episodes, and for Saturdays it'd be 30, but... Sometimes we can't do that, because it's not entertaining. Okay, we, that's 600 rupees, everything else is expensive. I was hoping he'd have a wallet, but I guess not. Okay, first quest... Let's see, uh, first quest... Oh, yes. His sister. Oriel. Bottle potion. Colorful island. Oh, we need to head that way anyway, sweet. Yeah. I'll, I'll go that way right now. Oh, and we have to get rid of... Man. Ugh! Fine. We have to get rid of it. Seriously, we do. That really stinks. Okay, Oriel is... She's, he said near the colorful island, so... There's only, like, really one colorful island here. And... I'm trying to see it. I think I see it. You can barely see it. Right there. Pretty sure that's it. 90% sure that's it. Yep, that's it. That was pretty... swag. Okay, we're gonna talk to her. Well, if it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My, my bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now he can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home till my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Link, I really need your help. Would you get go get some bird medicine for me? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I thought we need to go to... F really? Oh, cool. Okay. I, I was thinking we that was a waste of, of medicine then. Okay, I'm gonna cut back. And we're back. Talk to her, his bro, her brother, um, Paro. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly. That's terrible. In that case, take this to her. Yeah, mushroom spores. We don't have room. Cut, cutting back. Hello. Yep, we did. Mushroom spores. Happy day. You can get those by just hitting a mushroom and then scooping it up with a bottle. Scooping the dust up with a bottle. You can also get glittery, glittering mushroom spores, and those are special. Those do something la good and cool that I will talk about later. And I'm going to cut to Oriel again.
<laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, here. Here, take it. Sprinkle it on. That's how Zelda healed her bird so quickly. I just realized that. Remember when she sprained her bird's wing? Her loft wing's wing, and it couldn't fly? She must have used the spores, which instantly heal stuff. Okay, that makes sense. I was beginning to think we were doomed. You saved my life, and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. So we got five gratitude crystals, and we got an empty bottle out of it. Okay, bye. And she despawned. Okay, we're gonna go to the fun, fun island. That's what he called it. And we're gonna... Because he has a quest for us, if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm probably not, because I've played through this game multiple times and 100%ed it on those times. But, not to brag. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying all my achievements in a grandiose way. Oh. I almost didn't jump off. Uh, what am I going to do? It's no use. It's all over. You see, the party wheel that I pinned to my back flew off the island and fell down the cloud somewhere below. Without my party wheel, there's just no way I can make this island a place where people can have fun. What can I do? It fell down below the cloud, so I guess I should just give up on it. Look for it. How am I supposed to go and get something that fell below the clouds? That's impossible. Your dowsing ability can be calibrated to locate the item that this person seeks. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, that target will be removed when you switch to this target. Do you wish to set the party wheel as your dowsing target? Yes. And there are going to be a ton of cuts this episode, Sheesh. Thank you. Thank you, Fee. It would be so amazing if someone were to find it. Just think of the smiles on the children's faces. <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up, though. Okay. <laughs> I love my voice for him. I think, I think that voice is a keeper. Okay, I'm gonna cut to directly where it is, which we actually saw where it is. Cutting in three, two, one, chickabow! Okay, you just want to climb up here. This is where we came into the desert entrance after going through the uh, mine. Not the facility, just the mine. So yeah, there, there's the facility and there is the Temple of Time. So right where we came in, where I had to stop and go get bombs and do that, we just climb over here. Again, I'm kind of ma make it uh, making it seem like dousing is useless. It's not. Especially when you have no idea where anything is. It's... It's amazing. It's a it's one of the better features of this game. The better new features of this game. I've an identified the item that the highly unusual man on Fun, Fun Island says was lost. We can call the scrap shop, ro shop robot to come and retrieve it. Would you like me to call him? Yes. Master, I'll send word to the robot using tele telepathic transmission. See, Fee is really useful. I don't like how Navi or Navy, how she's like, Link, you should go to the forest temple to solve all your problems. And then I'm like, Navy, I'm in the forest temple. You know, she's just annoying. Wait, I'll do this, and I'll continue this in a second. Mr. Sfee, Zrrrp, you called? That. Whoa, Zrrrp. This place seems strangely familiar, Bzrrrp. Oh, that's cool. Bzrrrp. Do you want me to carry, so you want me to carry this thing? <laughs> okay, Zrrrp. You just sit right tight, you sh you just sit tight and there and stay out of my way, Master Short Pants. Bzzz. That's cool that he says that it's familiar. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take long. There we go. 
and... Master, I suggest we head back to the sky and return this party wheel to its owner as soon as possible. See, Fee is useful. I don't... I like Midna. And this is probably... This is probably shorter. Also, I like how if we turn your back on him, he stops. Like, he doesn't keep chasing you down. Yeah, this is probably faster. So, I like... I like Fee. I also like Midna. I don't don't take think for one second that I'm not a fan of Midna. Midna is amazing. She's from Toilet Princess, in case you've never played. But, I like Fee just as much. Probably equal, if not a tiny bit better, more. Simply because she's useful and she's not annoying. At least, I don't think she's annoying. She tells you the necessary information, and she doesn't... I mean, she does tell you what to do, and sometimes she babysits you, especially in the early parts of the game. But, I like how she does help you. And you can ask her pretty much anything. She's like Siri. In fact, if I had Siri, I would totally try to mod it and make Fee's voice the thing. And, you know, I just... Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I like Fee. And... And this is necessary for 100% completion, by the way. Here's a real thing. What's that? Do you like my voice for him? <laughs> now, thanks for being gentle with it, Scrapper. If you want something else, just let me know. It, is this? Is this? It is! It is! <laughs> Yahoo! My party wheel! <laughs> Thank you so much! Now I can re realize my dream of opening Fun Fun Island! Woo, woo yeah! I'm so happy! And I'll let you be my first customer, young man. Thank you so much. It's going to be much fun. Yeah, we'll do it. And then we'll end the episode. Yeah, we're going to be spending multiple episodes here. Actually, no, wait. No, we can we can afford a little bit more. With the cuts, I'm, it's going to be some... Some of it's gone. Okay. You joyful little man. I, uh, I owe you everything for finding my party wheel. And my dream of creating my very own, very smiley Von Von Island has been realized for all those, for all who to enjoy and laugh about, and laugh at. Normally I charge fit 20 rupees to play, but since I owe you, I'll let you play your first game for free. Free is so much more pl fun than pay. Yes. Hey then, let me tell you all about the rules. Yeah. Your goal is to dive onto a cheery, colorful, rotating board. Land on a happy little colored space and you'll win 10 rupees based on the color. But if you land on the gray space, I call that the loser's space. Then I get to reach in and take a handful of your rupees. Isn't that fun? You can risk everything to win big here at Fun Fun Island, but it's a game of luck. So uh, don't come crying to me if you land on the loser space. Whoa ha ha! When you're diving, yeah, I dodo balls. Yeah, I get it. I'm just looking for a hint. Um. Okay, good. That's what I remember. Yeah, I'll give it a try. And if I fail the first time, I'll cut to where I do it successfully. This is necessary for getting a really cool collectible, a.k.a. a piece of heart. Yep, I get it. You just said that. Wait, are you... You're repeating it? Why are you repeating it? <sighs> I get it. Yes, it's skydiving minigame. I got it. Uh... Why did I say yes? yes? 
Yes, I get it. Okay, thank you. Sheesh. Just talkative fella, aren't you? In here. In Link, get in get in the thing, thank you. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, up, up, up a Dugan, dive. With Irish music. Da 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 da. Okay, we don't want to hit the dodo balls. I believe his name is Dodo. If we do, that would be do oh, I missed. Okay. I believe we want to hit the one multicolored one. So we want to cut it off here. Yes! Beautiful! First try on the mark. What's up? That was pretty sweet. Oh my word. <laughs> whoop a dee doo You landed on a 50 rupee space. 500 rupees. Did we get the thing too? Yep, special prize. Peace of heart. That was so cool. That was so good. That was fun. I like that minigame. More than I like that minigame more than I remembered. Also, that's probably one of the best ways to earn rupees, and the easiest, too. Like, it's kind of hard to lose. This is a zero thing, so you get, like, zero, and the Rupor space means you lose money. Okay, let's let's go back to Skyloft. That, that was really fun. A great way to end the episode. If you like this episode, click like, and also share it with your friends, because then you can laugh about me failing, and you get to talk about how good my run there was. You know, the diving thing? That was pretty sweet. Okay, I'll see you next time, where we'll be in Skyloft and we'll be getting gratitude crystals like crazy. Okay, see you then. Bye.